Hey guys, welcome back, PG Mining here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the shaders mod for Minecraft 1.5.2. Now these are the GLSL shaders mods that you do see on a bunch of videos of people, and the plants move, and awesome stuff like that, reflections, shadows, and all that good stuff. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how to get that on vanilla Minecraft 1.5.2. So as you see, we are inside of Minecraft, we don't have anything that's real special at the moment, but we're going to go ahead and close out of this, and if you don't want to lose anything in your Minecraft, your saves, or anything, I recommend going ahead and pressing the Windows button, which is like the little wavy Windows key that you do have on your keyboard, and if you don't have that, you can actually go ahead and go down to the start, or you can actually, if you're in Windows 8, go into search and type in run, and we're just going to go ahead and pull up run, and what you want to do is type in percent app data percent and then you're going to press ok and as you see it's actually is going to open up this right here and you're going to go it's going to go basically into your users parker or whatever your name is and then app data and then roaming so now we're going to go ahead and copy our minecraft now i already have it backed up and this is actually a brand new save so there's no real point and before we do anything, I'm actually going to go ahead and add in the texture pack that I'm going to be using. So I just went ahead and threw that in there. Um, you don't have to do that. No big deal. Now, the first thing that we are really going to need to do is open up Google Chrome. Now, as you see, we do actually have the 9 Minecraft page open. And the reason I'm using 9 Minecraft is because on the Minecraft forum, the for some reason, the media fire got blocked or something. I think it's because it was being opened so much by people. And because this mod is so popular... Um, yeah, so that's why I'm using 9 Minecraft. As you see, it's 1.5.2, 1.5.1, and 1.4.7, which is wonderful. So we're actually going to go ahead and download the 1.5.2 version, as you see, is right here. So that is great, and we're actually going to need this right here. We're going to need HD Ultra D3. So let's go ahead and go to Optifine Downloads, and you're going to want to go ahead and go to Ultra. Now, I don't know why Standard is on top. It doesn't really make any sense to me why it's on top. I would think that Ultra... Since it is better, is actually going to be on top, but it's not. Now, you do need to make sure that you download this exact version. As you see, it's about the 7th one or 6th one down the line. I think that's the 6th one. And this is really the one that you need for the 1.5.2 HD UD3 shaders. So we're actually going to go ahead and download that. As you see, I already have it right here. As you see, 1.5.2 HD U. Now, you want to make sure you have that U or you're going to get a black screen. So if you are getting a black screen, go ahead and make sure you download the ultra version um and yeah so that's really what you need so now that we have optifine downloaded and the gsl shader or the glsl shaders downloaded the next thing that you really need to make sure you have is going to be winrar so let's go ahead and type in winrar and go to rarlab.com and go to downloads so as you see you should be able to download it in english or whatever language you're using i'm assuming if you're listening to me you're in speaking in english but hey i don't know you could be croatian for all i know but now that we have our winrar downloaded um we're gonna go ahead and minus out of this and do keep in mind you are gonna want some shaders as well so i do have these shaders downloaded and those are the shaders we're going to be using so if you want to know we're actually using these seuss shaders sonic ethers unbelievable shaders and that's what we're using so that is cool and we're actually gonna go ahead and minus out of this and now you're in your minecraft folder again now if you didn't remember how to get to that it's um you're gonna press the windows key and r at the same time and then just open straight up to there or you can just go ahead and open up the run so now that we are here what we really need to do first is install optifine so let's go ahead and right click on optifine and do open and then we're going to use winrar archiver now that's the thing that we did just download and it opens up with this nice window go ahead and exit out of that and as you see this nice window of the optifine has actually opened up now the next thing that you really need to do is go into your dot minecraft and open up bin now as you see your minecraft.jar is sitting right here rather nicely let's go ahead and right click on that and let's press open with and winrar archiver now the first thing that you're going to want to do with this is exit out of that and we should be able to minus out of our minecraft and as you see we have the minecraft jar open now the first thing that you have to do is go ahead and delete this so let's go ahead and find the delete files and you're going to want to delete the meta.env now we need to do that otherwise you're going to get a black screen and this is not going to work now the next thing you want to do is go into your optifine 1.5.2 hd ultimate 
um, D3, and what we're going to do is press Control A, or you can actually just go ahead and drag and copy all of those, but I find that a little bit more difficult, so press Control A to select all, and then as you see, we actually have highlighted these dots on accident. Now, we don't want to do that because it may give us some weird shortcut thingies that we don't want to drag, um, so just go ahead and hold down Control and click on that, and as you see, the dots are now unhighlighted, and we should now be able to drag all of this directly over into our Minecraft.jar. Now, do make sure that you have your WinRAR to to do this don't use zip because it's really hard to do and I honestly don't know if you can do it I've only ever done it with WinRAR to be able to get it to work so I would recommend WinRAR and you're just gonna go ahead and press OK don't mess with any of those settings and boom that updated automatically let's go ahead and close out of our Optifine which is great now the next thing that we are going to be installing is the actual shaders now Optifine should be working if all you wanted was Optifine great you have Optifine installed go play you're gonna get really good FPS but now what we want to do is open Open up our GLSL shaders mod with WinRAR as well, and there we go. So now what we're going to do is exit out of view as well, press Control A, and then hold down Control, and remove the dots. Now let's go ahead and drag this over, and do make sure that you don't drag this over into a file on accident. And as you see, we have ourselves that shaders folder. So now let's go ahead and exit out of both of these. Now we still have our Minecraft bin open, which is great. Let's go ahead and open up Minecraft, and let's go ahead and launch this. Now it may take a little bit longer to launch, but if you don't get a black screen automatically, you, you are doing just fine. Now, as you see, we actually have the shaders dot dot dot, which means we have our shaders installed, which is wonderful. And that actually means you 100% installed Optifine correctly, which is wonderful. Now, I do like playing on normal just because I record and it makes it a pain in the butt if I don't. And we're actually going to leave all of that the same. Now, you do want to probably um, lower these a little bit because you are going to be running shaders here shortly. And that is going to cut down your FPS by a large amount if you do not have a greater graphics card. Now, if you have like a GTX Titan or something crazy like that, then you're probably not going to notice much of a difference. But if you're running a laptop or something of the sort, it's going to be cutting down on your FPS by a rather large amount. So if you're already getting like 16 FPS, I would not recommend this. I would just recommend Optifine and possibly like a 32-bit texture pack if you want something a little bit different. But now let's go ahead and open our shader packs folder. And as you see, this is actually in the shader packs. I believe it actually, yeah, it creates its own little folder here, which is wonderful. But I do like that you can actually open shader packs folder. So as you see, what we are now going to do is take our shaders that we have downloaded. You can download shaders from wherever you want. Um, I believe you should be able to go somewhere in here and just find shaders which is great but for the time being I'm going to be using the Sonic Ethers Ultimate or whatever these are called and we're going to drag this directly into the shader packs folder as you see this is in here and it should automatically update within the shaders folder so now we're actually running these shaders and let's go ahead and go into single player and let's call this a shaders test and Let's see, shaders test and load up this world. Now, terrain building and all that stuff may take a little bit longer for you, but hey, you now have yourself some shaders installed. Now, when you do first enter the world, you're going to have a few strange, like, wigglies going on here. And if you don't like that, I believe there's a way to turn that down. So you can go ahead and go look up a video on how to do that. But hey, I actually kind of like the wigglies that occur because it looks kind of cool. Now, obviously, the wooden blocks and stuff don't do that. Now, I'm actually going to do something, but if if you do want to exit out of this video here and you're like, hey, I have accomplished what I wanted. I really wanted those shaders and now I have them installed. But I would like to see what these shaders look like with a 512-bit texture pack. And that guys, Sorry about that jump cut there. I was actually going to show you guys a awesome texture pack that was 512-bit. But it seems not to like the shaders all that much, so I'm just going to show off a little bit of what these shaders look like. As you see, the water looks pretty nice with these shaders installed. Now, obviously, there are a few other shaders that you can actually get, and the water will actually look a little bit different. I wish I had better sprint on so I could fly really quick. But as you see, it, the light does change like it really would in real life and stuff like that. So that's what really makes shaders cool. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that like button down below because that is just awesome when you guys do that. It makes me feel great. And also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button above, below, left. I don't even know where they put it anymore. They've moved it so many times on me. But hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button too for more tutorials. And also, please go ahead and leave a comment down below if you guys want to see anything else. And my shadow looks a little bit funny but anyways if you do have anything you want me to do this was actually a requested tutorial by someone so thank you for whoever that is shout out to you you're awesome because i love doing these videos anyways thank you guys for watching this has been pg mining 10 and i will see you guys next time peace